Ah, oh, this duo. It's always an interesting duo, these two. I was going to say this trio is like even better than the duo. True. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back reacting to more Game of Thrones. Today we're reacting to episode 8, which is scary close to episode 9. <laughs> and we've almost finished this season, so it's crazy. Like season 2, for us, it's like, damn, it's flown. I mean, it feels like yesterday that we started Game of Thrones. I know. It's gone by so fast. I mean, I'm sure for you guys it feels quite slow. But yeah, yeah. for us, it's flown by. And probably because we can't watch as fast as we would if we didn't have editing and stuff. It makes the journey also feel so much mm. more massive. So finishing a season feels like, wow, like we've gone to that point because it does feel like a big journey and one that we sort of savor and spread out, you know? So there's just a quick disclaimer. Don't mind me. Hay fever season is hitting me real hard. So I might sound a bit nasally and sniffing and whatnot, but I'm all good. And don't worry, your boy doesn't get affected by hay fever. <laughs> so all you people who love my theories, plenty of them coming today. <laughs> Oh, he's got to sneeze now. <laughs> no, I don't get hate. I don't get hate fever. I just felt like I'm not listening. I definitely had it, Manny. It went away. Go sneeze. No, it actually went away. It went away. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. Going into this episode, for me, the thing I'm probably most curious about by far is just the way last episode ended. We had yeah. Theon was making a demonstration where he pulled two kids who were burnt. I don't think that they are Bran and his brother. It just doesn't seem like it would be them. They wouldn't die off screen like that. They're too significant. But even Theon himself seemed shocked at like what happened, what was happening. So I'm kind of confused. Like, it's wasn't that the intention? Like Theon, no, it's almost like that friend. I can't remember his name of Theon's, the one that goes, oh, I'm your only friend. It's like he did it behind his back almost because Theon knew he was presenting something, but I felt like he thought he was presenting the kids alive, walked out by like some men. I mean, they were hanging by ropes, so I don't know what he thought he was. That, I don't know I about don't that. Know. That seems a bit like... Yeah, I, I but that's the point. Like, he didn't know. Yeah, the reaction didn't make sense, but he was very confident about what he was presenting. He even asked him to pull them up. So mm. it's very weird. And we saw... Did, they say, did he say pull them up or bring them out? I don't remember exact wording. I need uh, that's important. <laughs> well, we'll find out. <laughs> and Maester Lewin seemed very distressed, I and he's know. not. He doesn't seem like an easy person to fool. So I, I know, don't but know. when you see two bodies hanging like that, like no matter what, that's traumatic. Yeah. On that note, you know how they found? I think was it like the nuts from Rickon? That might have been done on purpose to kind of get them off their trail because, yeah. I mean, Bran was saying, no, we can't, it's not safe, so it was the wildling. And then I can't imagine they just went there for the sake of it. It's a good point, actually. And we've seen that Bran seems to be intelligent well past his years. So, mm. yeah, it could be actually a good diversion. I'll be pretty impressed by Bran if it is. Or it could be the wildling that yeah. thought of it because she's also pretty experienced. So last episode, we got a bit of a vulnerable side again of Cersei. So she opened up about Jaime and whatnot to Tyrion. But I hope Tyrion doesn't get too close. I want his guard to be up still. Because not long before that, I think it was an episode or two before that, Cersei was literally threatening him about wanting to him to love someone so she could just take her away. Wasn't that last episode? I thought it was last episode. No, the episode before. Okay. Because that was almost mirroring Jamie's situation last episode as well, where he was luring the family member, that Lannister, luring him in, making him trust him, and then bam, stab him in the back. And that's almost what happened with Cersei and Tyrion, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like that's what's happening. And I've... physically, Tyrion moved closer to her as well. I mean, so. that's just as a brother providing some comfort. I yeah. think Tyrion, for me, I'm not really worried about that, to be honest. I'll be surprised if Tyrion does get betrayed or, or, or like deceived in some way because he's... He is smart. This whole season, he's done nothing but make preparations to not make the same mistakes the last two hands. Yeah. And he's proven even to be witty around his family, his father. Like, he's very much aware of everyone's shortcomings. So for for Tyrion, sure. the Tyrion seems to be a genuine character who can actually connect with others' pains and he's more sympathetic to that. But I don't think it's enough to turn him into 
lowering his guard unnecessarily. Yeah. The only I, mistake. I hope not. The, only because it's his family. So I'm. Yeah. yeah. The only mistake we've really seen him make was sending a couple of whores to Joffrey's house, thinking that it'll please him. Yeah. But yeah, he's. I feel like he's far too intelligent to be outdone by something so meager and this late. Like, I mean, he even squared her up, sort of saying, you know, well. What do you think? Uh, what did he say? Like, I can't remember, but he, he used some wording to just say, well, what do you think was going to happen when you made, you know, yeah, this, like you can't, this kind of son a, a king? It was something about you can't put a, a leash on a dog when you've already Making given him kin, a crown. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. So last episode, it was a very small scene, but Arya was literally honing in on Tywin's neck to stab him. You know, she was vulnerable watching that stuff initially, but she's had to harden up a lot and grow up a lot. Very quickly. Yeah, very quickly. Her so, and Daenerys have probably done mm, the most hardening up I've seen from a very soft, frail female character Yeah. to becoming really ready to deal with the atrocities of the world very quickly. Yeah. And it's sad. She's so young. I wouldn't wish that for anyone, but I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the se season she does kill someone. Yeah, maybe her first kill. It would be fitting around this time. Would it be her second? Her second because she stabbed that other... F she didn't kill him. Wasn't, wasn't that the, the fat kid at the camp? He's not dead. No, it was another fat kid. Oh, she did kill some yeah. kid. A beggar. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, so she has killed. So that moment sort of passed, actually. True. It would be more about her maybe... I think That she was more an accident, though, whereas the next one will be purpose. I don't think it was an accident. She went for it. She goes, take me again, and boom. Yeah. I, I think she needs to grow up a little bit more. She's still very young. So last episode was literally titled A Man Without Honor. There was a situation with Catelyn and Jamie, and he was just poking and prodding, you know, at Ned's loyalty and his honor because he slept with another woman. He, he knows that he where it hurts for sure. Oh, yeah. And it's literally gonna make her so vulnerable i mean we left her not knowing what happened in that scene didn't we like she just asked brand for the sword and that was it it cut straight away so it'll be interesting to see how she dealt with that but that also brings up another point of who the hell is Jon snow's mother i feel like it's not that it's not been that significant the last two seasons like these two seasons but i feel like eventually we will get to explore that yeah, I feel like it'll be a late... At the moment, it's the real question is, who the hell is Jon Snow? Like, yeah, true. We've barely seen Jon Snow evolve yet, so I think as his character arc develops, it'll be something more interested. Yeah. Personally, I haven't thought about it too much because there hasn't been enough going on with Jon Snow to really make me want to know. It's, yeah. I want to see more about Jon Snow, where's his journey going, his development, and then as that grows, then I think I'll be more curious about his personal life. For sure. Speaking of Jon Snow... Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting this episode to find out what situation he's going to be in. We were predicting last episode that be captured by the wildlings for a character like Jon Snow, which it seems like a lot of his role in this is about learning a lot more about what's beyond the walls, beyond what his people know and think and believe, sort of challenging the norms. And hopefully bridging something. Maybe. he I could see him being that kind of bridge yeah. between the two people. So I feel like, fingers crossed, he doesn't die here, and I don't think he will. Then I feel like it'll be an opportunity for him to learn the wild things, but maybe even see some of their brutality, or maybe see that they're not actually as bad as they've been made out to be, and they're a lot more similar, you know, to them since they're all human. Yeah, true. Oh, and the last thing that's freaking weird at the last episode was with Daenerys, the yeah, the warlock and yeah. the king. Now is he the king? Yeah, yeah. they freaking too many names to remember, but <laughs> they butchered twelve of the thirteen. Well, eleven of the thirteen. 11, yeah. And it seems to be playing some sort of cat and mouse weird game with Daenerys. Like she was running and they were saying, why not get your dragons? But you got to come to the house of the undead. It was all undying. Yeah. yeah, Undying. It was all a bit weird. Like uh, I still don't get the house of the undying. Is it what the name implies? Is that why she's so fearful of going there? I don't understand. I don't know, but it is super weird. And I'm quite scared for her <laughs> at this point. Yeah. I wonder how long it'll take till her dragons grow to become something. Because yeah. right now they're really close to useless. I know. Well, how long do dragons take to grow? I have no idea. I don't know. So I've seen you guys in the comments saying, oh, Spartan this, Spartan that, Butcher's Boy who... He remembers who the Butcher's Boy was. Last episode, he was mentioning it. You guys thought... Oh, oh yeah. I saw yeah. one comment today. I was trying to... I didn't know where you were going with that. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw one comment today and I laughed. I was like, literally last episode, which isn't up on YouTube at the time of recording this, I mentioned the butcher's boy. Yeah. So, yeah, don't worry. 
do what, what am I going to do? I'm going to go about the character I knew for 30 seconds <laughs> for 20 episodes. Oh, I mourned him. Ned was the most significant one, but I didn't forget. I mentioned him last episode. He didn't so. forget. He still mourns Butcher's boy. Yeah. I mourn everyone, man. I'm just, <laughs> at some stage, for your entertainment, I'm going to move on. <laughs> Even for my own sanity, probably. Yeah, I think that's the most important part. As always, guys, we want to say a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. If you are interested in supporting us over on Patreon, check the link in the description. We do have ad-free early access to our upcoming reactions, as well as full-length reactions as well. For those of you over on YouTube, if you enjoyed today's reaction, remember to leave a like. Let us know in the comments down below what your thoughts were, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. To stay up to date as we finish off close season two, and then we embrace the big season three, which we've heard a lot of hype around. So we're pretty excited. Okay, let's go. Dead crows or ravens? Are they the messenger ones they sent? Oh, oh. It's his sister. She came before Rob's men. Oh, yeah, I know that. But why he seemed surprised. Did she come before he asked for them to? We're ironborn. We take what we need. Exactly. When you made them prisoners in their home and they ran away. Is that treachery? Oh, no. I call it bravery. Okay, that's fair. I mean, she's making sense of it, to be fair. You know how valuable those boys were. If I hadn't killed them, the Northerners would think me weak. You are weak. What the hell is happening? That's right. I'm not convinced that it was them yet. I hope not. Theon seems to think it. I've come to bring you home. Father wants a word. Is this a joke? Winterfell is the heart of the North. Aye, it is. Hundreds of miles from the sea. No one even wanted it. Damn. I've taken Winterfell. Damn. And I will keep Winterfell. How can we be prepared to betray Rob like that, dude? They were like brothers. Still find it crazy. And he still didn't get the approval that he wanted, just like we suspected. Yeah, for now he's truly lost. Come home with me. Don't die here alone. I don't intend to die. Don't die so far from the sea. Okay. So she does care about There's him. There's a bit of care from her there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. First time we've seen that. But under the care of her father, she had to toughen up, I'm sure. What does Mance want with a dead man's bastard? I don't know. I think he'll want to decide for himself. So she's trying to keep him alive. He runs. I'll chop his balls off. He runs. I'll do it myself. <laughs> she's spirit. She's got a bite. We're even now, Jon Snow. Mm. I mean, Billy, let's be fair. The guy they've captured, do you remember which one he is? I don't, can't recall. I'm pretty sure he's the leader. But then where are all the others? Are they split up? The others. When you didn't come back, we weren't looking for you. We found your tracks fast enough. But they found us before we found you. Damn. Shit. Fuck. Damn, I had a feeling as soon as I realised he's the only one, I... Oh my god. Thank god Sammy wasn't with them. <laughs> <sighs> John's gonna learn real quick. Frank. I suppose. I don't know her first name. I'm sure you'll be very happy. Oh, I don't think so, love. <laughs> 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 they laughed. <laughs> Still thought I could march south and rescue him in time, but only if I crossed that bridge. I Rest wish in they peace, did. Ned. I wish they were able to, man. Back when I still had hope. He once told me that being a lord is like being a father, except you have thousands of children, and you worry about all of them. Very Ned-like thing to say. How can a man be brave if he's afraid? That is the only time a man can be brave, he told me. Nice. I like that. Damn, Ned. So good. I wish I could have met him. Me too. You think I'm fighting this war so they'll sing songs about me? He cares what she thinks. I want the men following me to go home. Then why don't you? Because we'll never be safe until the Lannisters are defeated. That's a good point. That's and true. And because I believe in justice. Chopping off Joffrey's head, you mean? That would be a start. That would be justice. <laughs> start. Not even the end goal. The Kingslayer. He escaped in the night. Tell me he beat Catelyn. Tell me this isn't true. Oh, Catelyn. Why? For the girls. Or oh, did she let him go? You knew I would not allow it, and you did it anyway. I have five children, and only one of them is free. I lost one son, fighting by your son's side. I lost another to the Kingslayer, strangled with a chain. Yeah, everyone's lost someone. Yeah, it's true. 
True, it's a bit unfair. Yeah. Double standards. But returning him to King's Landing may buy life for mine. Jamie Lannister has played you for a fool. It's a bad move. Catelyn, seriously? Bad move. Dude. I had faith in you after last season. Make sure she's guarded day and night. Rob. How many men did we send in pursuit of the Kingslayer? 40, Your Grace. Send another 40. Dude, that's a massive loss, dude. Jamie was their clutch. She just handed him away. Is she an idiot? Damn, Catelyn. Oh, I'm not liking you again. Fair enough if she handed him for a child then and there, but on a maybe. I know. You think you're going to take Jamie's word for it? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I love that Brian caught him. <laughs> it's a long way to King's Landing. Might as well get to know one another. Why is he so chatty always? It's strategic. You think you could beat me in a fair fight? I've never seen you fight. The answer is no. <laughs> oh. Damn, he's confident. And all my life I've been knocking men like you into the dust. Ooh, yes, Brienne. A chain. Let's see what happens. Did you take me for an idiot? <laughs> She's not Catelyn. A man of pardon. Woman of honor. Was I wrong? <laughs> Maybe one day we'll find out, Kingslayer. Maybe. For now, shut that trap of yours. The thing is, if she delivers him alone, what bargaining power does she have for anything? They could just behead her then and there and take him back anyway, so it's a bit of a stupid move. No, she... Brienne's taking him back to Rob. But Brienne works for Catelyn. I thought Brienne's separate to the 40 men he sent. Brienne's... Yeah, Brienne's Catelyn's loyal, so she's sending, taking him to King's Landing. That's the whole point of it. If I don't get some credit, or if I don't hear some pudgy <laughs> dumb in the comments, you guys are gone. If that was me right now, watch your comments. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, true, they were saying King's Landing. I don't know, that just went over my head. Yeah. Damn, And she's going man. by boat, which is, makes it unlikely that they're going to find it by the horses they're using, because they're going to lose tracks. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Brand's bargaining power is going to be pretty weak when she does deliver him. I don't know. Well, what's she going to do? I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I don't think they'll kill her. <laughs> I say that very loosely. But honestly, like, what is the point of this now? I just hope Catelyn is making another stupid mistake. She the is. The last one she did contributed to her husband losing his life. So she is, and I'm fuming because damn, like she said that she trusted Rob. Do your thing. You're meant to go back to Winterfell. Yeah, well, she's lost Rob's trust. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Good, good, Rob. Better than seeing their heads mounted on the city gates, Stannis will execute oh, them all. Oh, oh. I love how Stannis is a real threat to them. I know. We'll ride at nightfall. I want a full night's march before he knows we're on the move. Track down this brotherhood and destroy them. Okay, so they're still hunting them down. The Brotherhood, yeah. The girl's proven herself a good servant. She'll stay on with you. Oh, no. How's Arya gonna, you know, contact Rob? <sighs> she's left at the mountain now. That's bad scenes. Oh, my God, dude. It's all their innocent men. That's horrific. And she's just staring at them all. Wow. Where's your stick now, bitch? I promise to fucking win it. Come on! Oh my god. And he's talking about Yorin too. Be quiet, mate. Damn. Are they the two that were in the cage with... Maybe. Jaga Haga, whatever his name is. What joy of him anyway? Oh no, is she going to give herself up now? No, not give herself up. I feel like she wants to go, but... Because without him, she's vulnerable. Very vulnerable. They'll never trust me. They might. If you do what needs to be done. What? How does it feel knowing those men all died? If you could skip through the snow with your little savage girl. I did I should have known better. Trusting a traitor's bastard. He's helping him. Oh. So they're breeding that distrust for them to believe it. She knows what's up. <laughs> she's, she's smart. Ah, oh, this duo. It's always an interesting joy, these two. <laughs> you should start wearing the gold cloak. I don't want to wear a gold cloak. You're commander of the city watch. You shouldn't be dressed like a common cell. The cloak slows you down in a fight. That was his whole fighting style, remember? Yeah. Stay light. 
An History of the Great Seizures of Westeros by Archmaster Shevelethen. Shevelethesh. Kshvaltish. Ooh. You can read even better than him. Damn. I'd swap all your books oh, for a few Oh, I've seen Varys for ages. Lord Hand. I was going to say this trio is like even better than the duo. True. And if Stannis does attack the Mud Gate, what is our plan? What do we have? Pig shit. Oh, because they threw it at um, Joffrey. At Joffrey yeah. So I wonder what he's going to do with it. Interesting. There's a lot more to Bronn than we initially saw. 100%. He's been a bit mysterious at the beginning, to be honest. I'm not cut out for this sort of work. <laughs> Sammy. Where do you think John is right now? You don't want to know. A batting man would go with dead. He's not dead. Oh, the teeth are mangled. He's got a Valyrian steel sword. So did his father. Oh, I love the confidence from Sammy, though. The confidence in John to survive. Oh, no, what they find. Some sort of stone tablet or something with a symbol. The first men made these marks. Help me with it. Sammy will know. Sammy's the educated one. You read it in a book. That's a Night's Watch cloak. It's been here a long time. A Night's Watch cloak? Oh, must be dragon glass. Dragon glass? Why would a brother hide it here? I expect it's because he wanted somebody to find it. But why? And why would you leave something so precious? I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, is that the mountain? Where were you? Oh, thank I God. Yeah, I thought it was him. Anybody. By the seven new gods and the old gods beyond counting, I swear it. Who is she thinking? Jack and Hagar. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, does he have to do it? This is no joking thing. I'm not joking. Man can go kill himself. And name me. No. Please. I'll name you. Thank you. If you help me and my friends escape. Damn. Bargaining power, Arya. A girl lacks honor. <laughs> it seems like he feels like he's bound to do it. If I do this thing, a girl must obey. A girl will obey. <laughs> Copying how he <laughs> speaks. Interesting. Mm. It says Jaka Haga, but I like Jaka Haga. <laughs> I hear Joffrey plans on fighting. An inspiration for the troops. The young <laughs> king in his shining armor, fighting to defend the capital against the wicked old rebel. Couldn't even win against Arya. His place is not on the battlefield. It's not on the throne either. Couldn't agree more. He's loving it. Do you think I'm an idiot? Well, I'd yep. say you possess above average intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrion. The men will fight more fiercely seeing their king fighting beside them instead of hiding behind his mother's skirts. True. Although he's not someone who inspires. Because he knows everything we do before we do it. Because he doesn't have a cock. Neither do you. She should be as Varus. Interesting. That little worm between your legs does half your thinking. It's not <laughs> that little. <laughs> Tyrion. Why are you smiling? Yeah, why are you because smiling? Because I'm happy. Why are you happy? <laughs> because I have your little whore. I knew it. When she was saying about that, I had a feeling. Tell me, have you married this one yet? No? So she knew about that. You stole my only daughter. You plot to have Joffrey killed. This is madness. Chop her head off. Pretty thing, your whore. Lovely body. The bruises will heal in time. Oh, dude. Really, a Lannister lion necklace. Oh, no. Damn it, Tyrion. It's gonna play it off. You only rent them. You're usually a better liar, baby brother. But she's too smart for that. This one you like. You like her very much. Stop smiling. Could it be love? Oh, I'm hating her now. There isn't a man alive who could devise a more painful death for your little c Jesus, dude, she's pretty ruthless. I get it's her child, but holy crap. Sir Mandon, bring in my brother's whore. Stop calling her that. Shay is so honorable, more than oh, you are, Cersei. God, yeah. He has to keep a straight face. He has to. 
Oh, it's Rose. What the hell? And she's been beaten. Oh, no. He's going to play it off as well now. Oh, poor Roz, though. How did Cersei screw up that much? Don't forget me. She's playing along. Why does she have the necklace? <gasps> did he play in that? But she's been beaten. That's a big... If he planned that, he's very smart. I think he did. I will hurt you for this. Boom. You think you're safe and happy, and your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth. Oh, I love that Ooh. threat. And you will know the debt is paid. Get out. I Ugh. love that threat. Can't Come on, wait Tyrion. for that, baby. Can't wait for it. I feel like he planned that, though. Oh, she's smiling. Go away. But it's still rough for Roz, man. She's suffering. Shut up. Oh, he didn't plan it then. Maybe she planned it. What is wrong? You're beautiful. <laughs> Maybe Va Varys did? Dude, Ross got screwed over hard though. Holy crap. I know, poor girl. There are people who want to hurt me. I know. I won't let them. I cut off their faces. <laughs> I trust in that. I would kill for you. Do you know that? Damn, he really likes her. You're mine. Oh, Tyrion. <laughs> Promise me. Damn, he really felt for her. He was really scared. But I still feel for Roz. Oh. It's a nice moment at all, but I still feel like... I know. Poor still... Roz. He wouldn't dare hurt the boys. There is only hope of escaping the North with his hand. Yeah. I think he's smarter than that, but he's duping his own family as well. I hope so. Any ironborn who surrender will be allowed to return safely to their homes. Any ironborn with the exception of Theon Greyjoy. Ooh. Damn. We will hunt him down no matter where he runs. Damn. I can't wait to that reunion. How are you? How am I? Probably the only person that asked. The Lannisters have my sisters. The man I considered my closest friend has seized my home and my brothers. Damn, that's pretty rough. I'd like to hear you play the harp. No, no, you would not. <laughs> <laughs> She's like a mini aria, maybe. Or a big aria. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> I was treading water, talking to a friend, when I realised I hadn't seen my brother. Damn, I had a feeling. Yeah. And then I started screaming his name, and then I saw him floating face down. Well, aria. <sighs> You're so close, but you couldn't do anything. I dragged him from the water and I screamed at him and I shook him. Yeah, that'd be rough as. Mm. Fuck, I can't even imagine. A man ran over. You have to understand, for a slave to push a highborn girl, that's death for the man. Damn, that's brutal. I know. Me. Started pressing on my brother's chest again and again until my brother spat out. Half of the roid. Tell me the guy dies. That'll ruin the story, man. Oh. <laughs> I hope it's a good story. I need one good story, man. I decided two things that day. Okay. I would not waste my years planning dances and masquerades with the other noble ladies. All right, it. When I came of age, I would never live in a slave city again. Hmm. Yeah, she realized you can't differentiate good and bad. I love you, Talissa. Leather I don't want to marry the Frey girl. Oh, damn. Just like that, dude. It's very up front. I don't want you to marry her. Okay, damn. Okay. But you needed that bridge. Who cares? Who cares about the bridge? It's a very beautiful bridge. And Rob Yay! scores. He shoots his scores. King Rob gets what he wants. Oh, that was so sad and it was happy. Now I'm getting what I want. So intense, dude. Well, it's been building up for a while, huh? I just mean all the storytelling, the oh, yeah. everything was just intense. Like every sentence in a story, you just mm. like, you go really bad or really good. I hope someone doesn't walk in. It'd be Catelyn for sure. Oh, dude. Oh, they're so happy. It's not going to last long. Not in this world. Hope it does. Same. He just said walk through the gates. What about the guards? He didn't say anything about the guards. He's got them covered, don't you worry. I want to go back to the kitchens. Shut up. Stay here if you're afraid. 
<laughs> just trying to help you. I know, it was a lot to risk here. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Genji's got her back. Oh, oh he's already shit. killed them all. I had a feeling. Dude, he's very skilled. Oh my god. And in a position where it looks like they're still guarding. Wow. Oh my goodness. I want him to go with them. I'm worried for Ariane though, leaving now. Until she's in Rob's hands, I'm worried for her. Stannis. If the wind holds, we'll reach King's Landing in a day. I'm really looking forward to him meeting versus the Lannisters. Joffrey especially. We'll spit oh. on him. Just kill him first. Robert. Ned Stark, they were the heroes, the glorious rebels. While I held Storm's End with 500 men. He gave Storm's End to Renly after the war. Renly never fought a day in his life. Shit. Can't answer that for you. So we ate the horses. We weren't riding anywhere. Not with the castle surrounded. Damn. Damn. I do like dogs. Good animals, loyal. But we ate them. <laughs> and then you made it through the lines. Slipped right through in your little black sail boat with your onions. And potatoes. <laughs> Robert told me to hold Storm's End, so I held it. Damn. Then he told me he was giving it to Renly. That so I gave it up. That's brutal, man. So he's pretty loyal to his brother. Okay. But now I'm the rightful king by every law of Westeros. And when I sit the Iron Throne, you'll be my hand. Nice. Oh, wow. I pray us if he will. So humbled by it. Okay, I respect status, man. It's nice getting to know a bit more about him. Yeah, for sure. He's wow. all about duty. If my uncle Stannis lands on the shores of King's Landing, I'll ride out to greet him. Yeah, I'm sure you will. I'll give him a red smile. Dude, he's so confident. You idiot. You idiot. Stannis, destroy him, dude. He has no idea. Ah, he's an embarrassment. I wish we could converse as two honest, intelligent men. I wish we could, too. <laughs> the sarcasm between them. What do you want? Tell me. If we're going to play, you'll have to start. Mm. Interesting. Sussing each other out. You're quite good at being hand, you know. Yeah. And you play it well. I'd like to keep playing it. Very well. It does play it well, yeah. If Stannis breaches the gates, the game is over. They say he burns his enemies alive to honor the Lord of Light. Damn. Shit. Why are all the gods such vicious <laughs> Cool question. Where is the god of tits and wine? <laughs> oh. But even if what they say is true, it'll be years before they are fully grown. And then there'll be nowhere to hide. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That'll be interesting. One game at a time, my friend. One game at a time, indeed. You can only do so much. Worry about so much. And I know you love them, but you didn't grow them in your womb. They didn't suckle at your breast. They are dragons, Khaleesi. Man, it's a fair reality check as well. Dude, she went in the fire for them Get and it. survived. You know I would die for you. I will never abandon you. I'm sworn to protect you, to serve. Then serve me. She's a bit ungrateful sometimes. If you enter that place, you will never leave again. This magic is strong. And what of my magic? True. Okay, fair point. Yeah. They are my children. And they are the only children I will ever have. Yeah, wow. And I'm sure she feels that, like, connection with them, too. For the farmer. For his... trouble. His troubles are done. He's feeding the crops now. His wife, too. Yeah. Damn, look at the advice that guy's giving, though. I know, horrible. It's not our boys, Mr. Lewin. It's not our boys. But who is it? <gasps> His sons. Oh, that's horrific. Oh, this would be the last place they'd think to look. Oh, so they don't even know that they're there. Who was that out there? Hung up at the gates. Must have been the farmer's boys. Shit. Damn. Butcher's boy, farmer's boys. They mustn't know. Bran would blame himself. And Bran's listening, of course. The little lads have suffered enough. Damn, man. Got butchers boys, now farmers boys. Oh, well, that's where it ends. What an episode. The music's kind of nice. It's really nice. Really fits the mood. Pretty good episode.
Yeah. Um, probably not as intense as the others in terms of it was this was a lot more story building, which scares me because so far everything up until now has ended with something pretty drastic happen. This is the one that it was a lot moving events forward, but it wasn't a yeah. drastic, which just means that the next one's going to be fucked. Because the next one's nine, right? I'm so, Help us. I'm so nervous, dude. I am not ready. Like, oh, I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready either. Oh, man. I can just already feel the people who know what's coming, uh, coming next. Laughing at us. They're just laughing at us. Laughing or just like waiting. You know, I'm just like, far out, dude. I'm not ready. Oh, not for another, not for another Ned Stark situation. I can't. I started crying with Talissa, like, you know, explaining the story of her brother. I mean, yeah. she, she, that damn girl had to drag that story out, made me believe that her brother was dead. I started crying. Yeah, so I, I never really bought into Bran being killed. It just didn't make, even from a Game of Thrones world, it just felt like a clear diversion. So it's good that we've yeah. got confirmation on that. Same, but then when Yara was just talking, 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 and then... Yeah, I could see you at the beginning. You were freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm like, please, no. I was like, relax. I'll wait for the confirmation. <laughs> It does really just, it hurts a bit. I feel it in here when like, you can see in Rob's face, the betrayal. He's like, he was my best friend. And I sent him, it's like, damn, that's how close they were, you yeah. know? And, and that reunion, when it does happen between Rob and Theon is going to be really interesting. I know there's going to be consequences for Rob, but oh, I'm just so happy for him. Like he's found someone that he connects with. They're on the same wavelength. Speaking of Talissa, and that guy that he made the promise to is an angry old bitter bastard and he's going to want Rob to marry his daughter, Frey. So, yeah, I am not. I know that's later in the future, but I'm not looking forward to that just because of how happy Rob was in this moment. Yeah, that'll be an interesting conflict. And I want Talissa to be happy too. She's had a tough life, it seems, but also... I know she's chosen that life, but so many people can just turn a blind eye that are of high-born status, and she didn't. So I like you, Talissa. Well, let's worry about one battle at a time because we've already got that many ahead. Yeah. The ones for next season will come. But Like, like uh, Tyrion said. Yeah, exactly. I really enjoyed and have more respect for Stannis just after hearing his story. Like, mm. I felt sorry for him too. You know, he fought... For his brother, King Robert, so loyally, you know, starved, uh, almost died in horrible conditions and wasn't even given glory for it. But he did it because he respected the hierarchical order, you know, and I really mm. respect that. That that for me demonstrated that he seemed earlier on like he had a little bit of a double standard, but then they was like, no, he's a man of his word. He lived leads yeah. by example. And I respected that. And I can understand how he would feel heard by that as well but what's more is he honorably left it but he didn't say a word he did not question it he just let it happen just went back to doing what he was doing exactly. yeah yeah and probably to be honest king robert probably didn't give him enough respect or enough acknowledgement for that effort you know yeah yeah no so and he's right ned and king robert got all the glory the honor More friendly as well really didn't really get honor he got a reward he didn't yeah. get honor for the fight i'm saying ned and robert were the heroes of that story. Yeah, true. Overthrowing the Mad King. But Stannis' name wasn't even mentioned. Yeah, and he, he was literally holding... Yeah, holding no one says, oh, thank God Stannis for that, you know? Even in the um, Histories and Lore video we watched, you know, no Stannis, is, Stannis. Stannis is not written in the history books. Yeah. So I'm respecting him. And to be honest, because his presence and his maturity, him going up against Tywin, I like that. It's pretty cool. It's a more of an equal playing field, in my opinion, based on experience. Then versing Rob, who I still think is still quite naive. Definitely doing well, but quite naive in the mix. Well, first things first is going up against Joffrey. Yeah, which is still indirectly the Lannisters, but yeah. And I love, though, how Joffrey was like, oh, it's my uncle. Yeah, it's true. I forgot about that. Yeah. When he said that, I was like, holy shit, you're right. But it's right. not. He's wrong. Well, yeah. <laughs> so you're right, but you're wrong. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but if he admits that, then he technically loses his claim to the throne. Cersei went snarky this episode. Like, we knew she had it in her, but because she was more vulnerable and toned down See, since Joffrey became I king, it. I just almost started to just let her in a little bit. But I, She's ruined the how, did, how did Roz get that necklace? Because it doesn't look like Tyrion planned it. It doesn't look like Shay planned, planned it. it. Maybe Varys? That's the only other person. Because yeah. that was the only other person that knew. 
Yeah, it is interesting. And it's a big oversight on Cersei's behalf. But also, like, Roz playing along. I mean, is it because Tyrion's of a noble family that... Or was it... Could it have been Littlefinger? Because he's very close to Roz, right? And he was threatened by Cersei. And he doesn't like being threatened. Could that be his way of almost subtly manipulating her? And also because Roz was letting him down that one time. Remember, she wasn't performing. Yeah. And he almost threatened. So could he almost be killing two birds with one stone in his little own little way? I don't know. He's playing Cersei because Cersei thinks she has the power. Yeah. But in that situation, she doesn't have much over... Tyrion. If and he's got to play, he is, will play. And his thing is knowledge is power. So yeah, true. Does Littlefinger know about Shay and Tyrion potentially? So you might be onto I think something. He knows everything. Him, yeah. and, him and Varys at this point. I would say not know anything. Mm. But also, Ros not speaking up as well. It's always going to be a whore's word against a highborn as well. So there's yeah. probably that as well. That oh, dynamic. I do feel, genuinely feel bad for her. I mean, she just left yeah. a small town and went to the you know King's Landing, and since she's calm, it's been so brutal, dude. So cutthroat. Fuming with Catelyn. Fuming. Yeah, rookie move. Very rookie move. She's okay. very rash. Yeah, like okay, season one, you make your mistake. It costed you a lot. Like. Literally everything. I get it. You learn from it. Again? Really? Again? I can't believe it. I had a little real faith that she would... I don't know. Yeah. Well, it just annoyed me. She lost her son's um, trust now too. Yeah, well, I mean, losing Jamie's huge because that's the whole thing. Lannis is holding back is yeah. because they have the son of Tywin captured. Like... If they do end up losing him and he's looking that way, that's a massive loss. But imagine imagine putting your son in that position where he has to arrest his own mother. Yeah, I think you he just... was pissed off too. He felt betrayed, you know? Yeah. He trusted her the most when he left. So he can't really, to be fair, how many times has he been betrayed? Like, he's really being tested. His best friend's betrayed him. His mother's betrayed him. Yeah, it's not easy, man. No. Nah. Not easy, dude. But Rob's had to really, this season he's really grown. He was really a yeah. boy, a boy last season. And you've really seen him become a man, not just a man, but a leader in this season. So mm -hmm. I really respect him. And I do feel like him and Stannis could get along quite well. But it's a fine line with Stannis because he's very much, this is the way he should be. Or, yeah. or as he says, I'll destroy you. <laughs> I love what <laughs> he said. That's your favorite line. <laughs> it's so funny. It's almost like people don't usually say that, but he's like, who's will with me or I'll destroy them. Like He's just like destruction. You know, he's funny. I just want to see what's going to happen with Theon now because... One, his father is not going to give him the glory that he wanted or even just the acknowledgement and acceptance. Two, he's a little bit naive. He goes, oh, like, Rob's never going to find out. We got all the ravens. No, you didn't. Like, people are one step ahead of you sometimes. Three, I just feel like that guy that's standing by his side is going to manipulate him some point yeah maybe yeah. he has his own ulterior motives to some degree i think who knows his sister showed us a bit of a genuine side this yeah. one but i think just foreshadowing sir Roderick's words like theon truly looks lost now his father doesn't seem to want his approval yeah. he doesn't even know what he's fighting for he's lost the purpose he had with the starks you know the connection he had to his best friend yeah i don't know man honestly i don't know if i can see a redemption after theon at this point i think he's just going to be his own mad individual at the moment like for a while Oh, damn. Brutal. And I have heard that the battles, you guys keep saying, Patreon especially, that the battles are going to get much better. But I am definitely now, there's a, like Game of Thrones, the, it's been played out a lot. It's time for a good battle to be seen. Like, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to get me pretty excited. That's going to be so brutal. I mean, we've only seen like small snippets of like one-on-ones and things like that. And they've been brutal enough. Yeah, I imagine maybe they ch change it up a little bit. But at least at that point, I feel like it's going to be crazy, but... Oh, I guess we'll deal with those heartbreaks when they come. For as for now, next episode is going to be crazy and I'm nervous for it. If you haven't already, guys, hit that subscribe button with notification bell on so you know as soon as we do drop episode 9. If you do want early access to that as well, check out our Patreon because it will be on a lot earlier on our Patreon. We'll see you then and uh, Pudgy will have her tissue box ready. Yeah. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys next video. See you guys.